In this Sydney food vlog, we're going to be exploring Sydney's best Indonesian eats. And we're really excited to discover a taste of Indonesia in Sydney on our Kensington and Kingsford food tour. Kensington is four kilometres southeast of the Sydney CBD. It's best known as the home of the University of New South Wales, as well as the performing arts college, NIDA. The Tawi's Kitchen is one of the best restaurants in Kensington, and I just love this bright modern interior. All the presentation of this restaurant just gets top marks from me, especially the food. So this is soto ayam. It's a traditional Indonesian soup. We've got it with chicken in a clear broth. And this was $14. So ayam means chicken. We've got it with a squeeze of lime here to give it a bit more tanginess. Oh my goodness. So I can see that apart from the ayam, we've got Egg. We've got, looks like uh, crispy bits of, I don't know if it's shallots or maybe prawns. Got prawn chips, vermicelli noodles, spring onions. Oh my goodness. And the yellow color that you can see is from turmeric. Oh yeah. That is a beautiful light broth, which is slightly salty. And you can taste a little bit of the bean sprouts in it. Yeah, so chicken noodle soup. This is really next level. Uh, so let's try some of the main ingredients in it now. Mm. That chicken is nice and moist and tender. The noodles are cooked beautifully. The egg is firmly boiled. It's nice and tender as well. The prawn chips give it a bit of crispiness, which I really like. So I love soups like this, where you've got a lot of different flavors and textures. If you're looking for an authentic taste of Indonesia, look no further than Pondok Goyang in Kensington. They serve up pandang food, which is a style of food that originates from West Sumatra. The patang food style is characterized by curries that are full of coconut milk, a lot of herbs like lemongrass, spices like turmeric, and it just makes for a really fragrant and bold flavor profile. You typically get to try a couple of curries at once. So we've gone for the two meat, one veg, one rice, also an omelet, as well as the very popular lamb curries. This smells amazing. I can just smell that lemongrass wafting up. We're trying the most popular curries. So there's the rendang curry, which is like the ubiquitous Indonesian curry. It's cooked for hours and that, that sauce reduces. It's effectively a dry curry by the time it's all done. And there's lemongrass, turmeric, ginger, a whole range of herbs and spices in there. We've also got their chili chicken. For our veg, we've got the jackfruit. And it looks really chunky. It actually looks like meat. I'm gonna go with the rendang first. All right, yes, yeah, so it's very easy to pull apart. Mm. Oh, that's so nice. You can just taste that lemongrass. It's a really fragrant taste to it. It's not that spicy. So I don't think there's too much heat or too much chili in there. Oh, just a whole range of amazing flavors. Let's try this chili chicken. Indonesian food is known for its heat. So I can eat hot food, but I don't know how hot is Indonesian hot. I'm gonna find out very shortly. That's nice and it's not too bad so far. Mm. It's not as hot as I was worried about. So there is some heat there, but you can definitely taste the lemongrass in there as well. It's in a tomato style sauce. Okay, let's try this jackfruit. So it's really interesting. And as I said before, it looks like meat, but it's not. <laughs> the texture of the jackfruit's really interesting. I am aware that jackfruit's quite a popular meat replacement, and I can understand why. It looks a little bit like meat and it has a similar texture to meat as well. It's probably a little bit softer to bite into. It's sinewy even. And it's in quite a sweet coconut curry here. It's really delicious. That sauce has a real depth of flavor to it. 
So it's, it's quite mild. It's got that saltiness of the lamb in it. Mm, I was wondering what an Indonesian omelette would taste like. It's much better than a Western style omelette. What makes it really special are all the herbs and spices in there. It just gives it another level of umami. It's just really nice. I really rate the Indonesian omelette. Kingsford is in the eastern suburbs of Sydney. It's seven kilometres southeast of the Sydney CBD. And the suburb was named after the famous Australian aviator, Sir Charles Kingsford Smith. Shalom restaurant in Kingsford serves up tantalising Indonesian food and so we've gone with one of the most popular dishes, the gado gado. So there's a lot to like about gado gado. It's an Indonesian salad, so there's cucumber, I can see some tomato, there's lettuce. But what I really like about this dish is that it's just uh, smothered in this really yummy peanut sauce. I love satay. I really like that it's garnished on top with prawn crackers. It makes it really visually appealing. Let's explore. I just got a burst of some of that uh, peanut sauce. Oh, that's amazing. Indonesian peanut sauce is just great. So you've got that peanutty taste, nutty texture. You've got a whole burst of flavor in addition to that. So it's sweet. And there's also something else in there that just made it so delicious. What is it? I think there's lemongrass in there as well. Oh, it is just so tasty. And then in addition, you've got tofu in here. I can also see some egg too. This dish was $15. And so if you're looking for a salad that packs in a whole lot of flavor, make sure you try the gado gado. The Pua Rawit Indonesian Kitchen is an Indonesian restaurant in the heart of Kingsford and their menu is a bit different to some of the other Indonesian restaurants that we've seen so far. One of their specialties is a smoked beef which is this dish here. This is Tumis Se Sapi Sambol Dawit. So it's a smoked beef with a special Dawit chili. And there are three different types of the Sai or the smoked beef that you can get here. So three different types of chili that you can get it with. And this was 1650. Generally you'd have this with rice, but we've had a lot of food today. So we're just gonna stick to this dish on its own. So it comes with a little bit of lettuce. It's got the spicy sambal. Oh, oh yeah. That beef is nice and tender. Really nice smoky flavor. Got a bit of a char on it. Yeah, and it just melts in your mouth. If you love your meat, you will absolutely adore this dish. And that chili gives it a bit of punch to take the dish to the next level. One of the more curious eateries in Kingsford is Rosebury Matabak. So they're a little hole in the wall eatery. So it's all takeaway, you, you order and then uh, find some other place to eat. So we've come to Daisy Gardens just to try our martabak. We've gone with the martabak manis. So it is a sweet martabak. So it looks like this. So martabak is like an Indonesian pancake. So it's a dough that's been fried and you have various fillings. So with the martabak manis, we've had some sweet fillings. So we've got chocolate, we've got peanuts, and we've also got cheese, which we found an interesting combination, but apparently that's the most popular combination. You can choose up to four standard fillings for your martabak, and this was $22. Now there are other varieties of martabak. You can get a pandan martabak, and you can even get a durian pandan martabak that looks really good. That goes for $29. So I guess it was a little bit expensive, but feeling it now, it is really quite heavy and I guess you get a lot of mass for that. It does smell really good and it looks very tantalizing. So I'm going to crack it into it now. Mm. 
So this is a really interesting flavor profile. So and you do have some sweet chocolate in there. And then the cheese gives it a savory or even salty element to it. In terms of the texture, it's quite interesting. So when you first bite into it, the outside is a little bit crispy, but then the dough on the inside is uh, softer and it's actually quite oily as well. So that gives it an interesting texture. And then you've got the peanuts in there that gives it a nutty texture as well. So it's a really interesting and quite delicious dessert. This reminds me somewhat of a donut for some reason. It, it tastes like a big donut, a big oily, nutty donut. So as you can see, for $22, you do get a lot of Martabak. So there's eight slices in here. It is very heavy, filled to the brim. So it's actually not too bad value and it is really tasty. Aim Garang 99 is an institution in Kingsford. So it's been around since 1998. And the name translates to fried chicken. So true to its name, its most popular dishes are the fried chicken and we're going to go with their charcoal marinated thigh. That looks really tasty. They also have the deep fried chicken. They also do Japanese deep fried chicken as well, which is a little bit sweeter than your normal deep fried chicken. So that's really exciting. And they've got a whole range of really tantalizing menu options here as well. So here's my fried chicken. So it comes with a sambal, which is a chili sauce. And we've also got some sweet soy sauce, which in case the sambal's too much for me, I can balance it out with this sweet soy sauce. So I might try this in a moment. So let's get into this, yum. Oh, that's a very big thigh. Oh, it pulls apart very easily. And it's interesting, I can see uh, quite a yellow tinge, so that would indicate that there's probably some turmeric in this uh, marinade. Oh, I'm gonna try it with a bit of the sambal. Here goes. Oh, oh boy, okay. <laughs> that skin has been marinated in this really nice sauce. It tastes like there's a bit of this sweet uh, soy sauce in the marinade. And there's also some herbs and spices in there as well that gives it a whole lot of flavor. So that chicken is really tender and juicy and succulent. And that sambal packs a lot of heat to it. So to temper off some of that heat, some of the sambal, you can use ketam manis, which is a sweet soy sauce. So I'm just gonna drizzle it over it. And I will mix, I will mix it up with this sambal. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. I really like that combination of the sweet and slightly salty of the soy sauce. Oh, this is such a simple yet amazing dish. So each individual piece of chicken, you can get either the thigh or the breast, and then $9 each. Now, most people go for a piece of chicken as well as some rice, and so the rice is 3 to $5, depending on the type of rice that you get. At I am going 9 to 9, we could not stop at one dish, so we've gone for their ice champur. This is an Indonesian dessert, and it looks so yummy. It's a shaved ice dessert, and so there's rose syrup over the top, there's also mochka syrup, and inside, I believe there's avocado bits as well as jelly bits as well. Oh, yep, there's some avocado, which is quite unique in the dessert. There's also jelly bits in here, some black jelly, white jelly, yeah, it looks really, really yummy. And I can imagine this would be wonderful on a hot day in, in Jakarta or somewhere in Indonesia. Mm. Oh, that's so nice. It's very sweet. I can taste that rose syrup. Oh, it's so refreshing. <clears throat> There's even chendol bits in there as well as jackfruit. And it's full of surprises, this ice champur. And it was $9. One thing 
we're discovering on our Indonesian food tour is that each region of Indonesia has its own specialties. And we've come to Chinyan in Kingsford to try some Medan Indonesian food. So Medan is in North Sumatra. It's on the western side of Indonesia. And it's currently being touted as the food capital of Indonesia. So we are really looking forward to trying one of their most popular dishes. So the pork belly is a must-have here. And we've got it with nasi goreng, which is fried rice. So this was 1990, and that pork belly looks so crispy and delicious. Mm. So you've got a beautiful light crunch, and you can taste the fatty layer. And that nasi goreng, so the fried rice has this really beautiful smoky flavor. I feel like there's maybe a touch of lemongrass in there. You can definitely taste the heat of the chili, and that egg is nice and soft. So this dish, it's just simple but perfectly executed. Oh, that pork belly is so Moorish. And I think having it with the nasi goreng is perfect if you're just coming for an individual serve. But what I think would be really good is coming here with a big group of people where you can try a few different dishes and really do that family style eating. They do a full plate of the pork belly for $25.50. So if you came and you've tried a few of their different dishes, I think that would be amazing. Chetos in Kingsford is an Indonesian restaurant that specializes in fish cakes. So they're known as pempek. And what they are are ground fish that's mixed with tapioca flour and the, they come in a whole range of sizes and shapes. There's a long version that's known as lenja. We also have a stuffed egg pempek, and then we also have a young papaya pempek. The long pempek and the egg pempek were $4, and the young papaya pempek was $4.50. They typically come with sauces. So this is known as chuko. So it's a vinegar-based sauce, and there's also garlic and tamarind and sugar in there too. We've got the spicy version and the non-spicy version. I'm going to try the spicy version first. And also in here, you've got ground up prawn crackers as well. So that just adds a further texture and flavor. All right. I'll just go with the, the long one first. <laughs> yeah, so the fish cake has oh, a subtle fish taste to it. It is quite chewy, and the flavor of the pempek is really enhanced by this sauce. So the sauce, I would say, is sweet. It's also tangy as well from the vinegar, and there's also a spicy hit to it as well. All right, let's have a look at this stuffed egg pempek. So this pempek has scrambled eggs stuffed on the inside. So that's pretty cool. So I'll try this as well. Mm. The addition of the scrambled egg in the pempek makes it really interesting. You've got the chewiness of the fish cake, but then the texture changes with the scrambled egg, so it's a bit smoother. Both the scrambled egg and the pempek itself make it quite a salty dish. Let's try this young papaya. So I'll open the young papaya up. So I imagine the young papaya is basically green papaya, so it's going to be quite savoury rather than sweet. I'm loving all the variety of these different fillings. Okay, that's interesting. So I'd say out of all three of these pempeks, the young papaya pempek probably has the fishiest taste. So I don't know whether there's some extra fish sauce in there or not. The papaya itself doesn't have too much of a taste to it. I guess it gives more of a different texture, like the long sinewy strands of the papaya. So that makes it quite interesting. Pempek is a popular Indonesian street food snack. However, you can also get more substantial meals with pempek included, uh, typically in soups or noodles. If you want to know how to get to Kensington and Kingsford, this area is serviced by light rail as well as buses, and it's about half an hour from the Sydney CBD by public transport. If you're feeling extra energetic, you can also walk or cycle here, and you can also, of course, come here by car. So Jay, what do you think of our Sydney Indonesian food tour? 
Oh, well, I have just been so impressed by the variety of food here. There were so many dishes that we'd never tried before and they all just surprised and delighted us. Yeah, what I really enjoyed was that all the dishes were really good value. You'd get a lot of food and for not a lot of money. So most of the dishes we had were under $20. And they were hovering around $15. In Sydney right now, that's pretty good. So if you're new to our channel, we're Jay and John, Bucket List Travellers. And we do a lot of food videos in Sydney like this, as well as food and travel vlogs around the world. So if you want to join us on our travel adventures, be sure to subscribe. And if you've got any suggestions as to where we should travel to next in Sydney, let us know in the comments. We are Bucket List Travellers. See you next time.